Hey, how's it going? I'm Greg. I'm the guy that started HowToBuildGames.com. So, I've been gone a while. About five years. A lot of people are like, man, what happened to this guy? Did he drop off the planet? Did he die? Is he still around? Didn't die. Um, I've been holed up in a startup for the last five years. It was a roller coaster ride that I don't necessarily recommend. Um, took me away from a lot of things, including how to build games. So first, let me say, I am bringing back how to build games. The YouTube channel, the website, all that stuff. Website's going to get an overhaul. It's not going to be that nasty one-pager that it's been for well, five years. Um, I'm bringing it back. It's going to be a little bit different than it was before. Well, one, I'm not going to stop after seven videos and then just drop off the planet. Um, but, uh, you know, when I started it, I looked at all the different videos that were out there and all the different people, Bracky's making stuff, uh, and he's still making stuff. And I thought, you know, what, you know, I know how to make games, but do I really have anything that I can bring um, that all these other people haven't already brought? And I thought, you know, well, why not? Let's try it anyway. And I made some videos, and the response was really, really positive which is surprising for any YouTube channel. Overwhelmingly positive, really. Um, by far, um, uh, positive comments. Uh, the positive comments far overwhelmed the negative ones, which was impressive um, and surprising. So there's a, there's a story in this book, The Art of Game Design, where he talks about there was a guy who was juggling scarves out uh, near a lake and he was watching this old man do this beautiful routine and then he was watching this other guy over here copy what the old guy was doing and this guy the old guy was just flowing with this thing that he was doing and, and it, it was just fluid and beautiful and and just wow there's something about it and this guy over here was just kind of watching what he was doing and copying the motions and and it, but it just it looked mechanical and when and this guy would go back to the park uh, every day and see this old man doing this thing and this other guy who obviously didn't want the old man to see him doing his thing over here and he just couldn't get it and eventually that guy quit coming and eventually this guy went to the old guy and said um, I don't know if you know there's a guy that's been copying you back there he said oh yeah I know he said but he's never he was never able to to really do what you did why I mean, he looked like he had the mechanics down of what you were doing, but he just couldn't... What What's different about what you did versus what he did? And he said, well, I call this routine, you know, flock of seagulls at sunrise. And he said, I, I based it when I was in the beach, and I saw this flock of seagulls take off um, at sunrise, and just the way the light hit them, and it inspired this this silk scarf juggling pattern and it was just beautiful and, and and I saw it and that guy he's just he just sees me he just sees what I'm doing he just sees the mechanics he just sees the result of what I did he didn't have my inspiration so he can copy the mechanics but he doesn't have my inspiration in his heart when he builds it so it's not gonna be the same and so that's kind of what I'm bringing back to How to Build Games is, and it's a rough paraphrase of the story. It's been a while since I've read it. Uh, I'll admit that because people will probably be like, that's not what the story said. But it, it's, that's the general idea. The general idea was that people can copy you and what you're doing, but if they don't have your inspiration, it's not going to be the same. Because of what I did, uh, a lot of people seem to get some breakthrough. They seem to say, you know, I, I could never figure this stuff out before. You explained it in such a way that really made a lot of sense. So I'm going to do game tutorials again. Um, but I'm also going to do, I'm going to dig into books like this and, and um, level up and, and some of the other, the deck that goes along with this. Um, talk about those, take some of those things and bring them to life. Be like, okay, let's take this thing discussed in this chapter and let's apply it. I've got an arcade uh, down the road from me that's, you know, all the old school 80s and 90s arcade games. 
might go down there and film some some old video game. Let's take Frogger, or Qbert, or Galaga, or my favorite, Robotron. And what could we do differently if we apply this chapter? Um, things like that. And just kind of try to bring some of the theory into the practical. Um, I've got some other ideas too. I don't want to elaborate too much on that yet because I don't want to be like, hey, I'm going to do all these things and people will be like, yeah, where's part three of that uh, 3D series? Which it... Yeah, I got nothing. Anyway. Um, so that's the deal. If you're still interested, and I don't even know if anybody's even going to see this video, if you're still interested, drop a comment, um, leave a note. I'll put a link in the comments to check out Art of Game Design. Um, there's a lot of good game development books out there. There's some other stuff I've got in mind as well that I'm going to draw on. And um, I think if y'all uh, come along for the journey, I think you'll be glad you did. So that's it. That's what I got. I just wanted to, to kind of do a short video that was not an hour long where I rambled for the first 13 minutes um, like my first video I just want to come on and say yeah I'm not dead I'm sorry that I dropped off the planet um, startups can be very intense 22 hour work days not an exaggeration um, it consumed everything and uh, everything in my life took a backseat to the startup, which is not really good, but it is what it is at this point. Anyway, coming back out of that, starting to get games going again, um, some of my own stuff published soon in the App Store, and uh, but I really want to pick up how to build games. I think um, being able to take an idea or a name that's in your head that you came up with, sitting at the coffee shop with headphones on, or walking through the park or falling asleep being able to take that idea and bring it to life if that's not a superpower I don't know what is I think that's the closest that we'll get anytime soon to being able to teach somebody a superpower um, so I hope you'll come along for the journey with me and uh, thanks for your time and I'm sorry that the clouds keep covering and uncovering the light shifting all the light of the video. Anyway, thanks. Bye.